Hello everyone, Shane here from RepairDesk. In this video, we'll learn how to process payments or issue refunds with RepairDesk Payments using the iPad POS app. If you have set up your terminal as explained in the How to Set Up RepairDesk Payments video, you're good to go. If you need help setting up the terminal, please check our video link in the description to learn how to set up RepairDesk Payments. To start accepting payments using the iPad POS app, from the left menu, tap on Sync Products and Settings so you can start accepting payments. Now add an item to the shopping basket by scanning a barcode or using a keyword search. When you're ready to collect payment, tap on the checkout button. On the payment screen, select Repair Desk Pay. Enter the amount, then tap Process Payment. The terminal will now display your card items for 5 seconds. If tipping is enabled, a customer can either select a preset amount or enter a custom amount to tip. When the present card screen is shown, a customer can either tap, dip, or swipe their card and enter their signature. Once the payment is successful, the POS will show that transaction is now complete. Now tap Complete Payment to complete the transaction. Let's take a look how to process a refund using the iPad POS app. To process a refund, first tap on View Invoices. Select the invoice you want to refund, then tap on the Refund button to display the items in your shopping cart. Now tap on Refund and then Checkout. On the payment screen, you can select Repair Desk Pay, enter the refund amount, and click on the Refund Payment. and tap accept to proceed. And that's it. With integrated payments, you don't have to key in the amount of the purchase on the terminal, which eliminates any keying errors, reconciliation discrepancies, and allows your staff to process refund in just a few clicks. If you would like to learn more about RepairDesk Payments, please visit our website or send us an email at payments at Thanks for watching and have a super day.